This video is 741 Columbia Avenue in LA. The neighbors just uh, next to you are still their old school, uh, large single families in the back. You have four story apartment buildings across the street. Here you're in the shadow of the uh, skyscrapers. This has a front parking. I wonder if that's a potential here. Because here you have a good 25 feet to the street at least. I'll show you the exterior first. This is not paved at all. This would be your driveway, but right now it's all natural, lumpy soil. I'll give you a view under the house, but the lighting may be quite poor. That's actually not, that's not too bad. That's now looking toward the front of the house. As you can see back there, or up there, that would be the gas meter under the porch. There's one electric meter, one gas meter on the property at all. Here's your garage. This is the uh, structure of issue. See all the new wood stamped with 2017 plywood. Seems to be well built, but uh, the city needs action on that. So if I were to verify the further details on that. In your yard. New neighbor, old neighbor, R3 zoning. your electric meter. Okay, back at the front now. We're gonna go straight into the uh, front entrance. Okay. These notices, by the way, are describing some of the issues. You can go ahead and uh, pause that if you want. So, when you open the door, staircase immediately. You have a bedroom to the left. picture of Leonardo DiCaprio for some reason. This staircase, by the way, so here's your, uh, I guess it would be a dining room. Your staircase would appear to have obviously the main walk up, potential walk down, but it all leads to the same landing. We'll get to that in a moment. So, so far we've had a bedroom, a dining room to the left, this is your under the staircase storage. This would be your kitchen. Again, dining room still extends this way. This is another room. It doesn't appear to have a closet built into it, so this could be anything. Coming to this point where the kitchen wall would be, you're in now entering the bathroom. Around this side of the bathroom well, is the uh, laundry, evident by the uh, vent. So coming through, I actually have to go through the laundry at this point to the rear bedroom, walk-in closet, and master bath over here. This is a very good sized bedroom, probably uh, 
close to 20 by 20. That closet here. Floorboards are open. So you have what's already set up as a 2-2 two -two downstairs with laundry and kitchen. Now we're going up to the second floor. This video is already six minutes long, so let me kind of uh, get through this here. All right, up front, your landing here immediately goes into two bedrooms. Their own closet space here. This one has a split closet because it is adjacent to another bedroom here. Linen closet here. Here's your bathroom upstairs. You do have another bathroom upstairs. So it's a 2 2 down, 5 2 upstairs. So again, 1 2 3. Here's a fourth bedroom. Now this is an undeclared space, but it's the only way to get through to the rear bedroom, sort of a, a double, uh, a duplicate of what's below it is a master bath. Here's your potential kitchen. It does share plumbing along that wall. So here would be your upstairs master bedroom and bath. walk-in closet, bathroom here. And there you go. Here's another view of the garage from outside. Neighbors, yard. And a recap, master bed, bath. Kitchen space, I'll declare it as kitchen space. A uh, potential fourth bedroom up here or then again if this was split into another unit this would not be your only usable living room space bathroom to the left this is a one two three fourth bedroom that potentially could be used as anything else if you're running out of space because of all the bedrooms so that will finish this. I'll give you a view off the front again. So five, two up, two, two down. This almost looks like you could split, go down and split, go down here. But, uh, it all leads to the same upward staircase and landing. So uh, I guess I'll end the video here. And uh, that'll be it.